name is Maddie Langley and I'm a marine biologist working with Operation Crayweed. So as you're swimming or snorkeling through Cabbage Tree Bay, you might come across these strange looking mats on the rocks uh, that have pieces of seaweed attached to them. What you've actually come across is part of our crayweed restoration project. Crayweed used to grow all along the Sydney coastline, but it disappeared in the 1970s and 1980s due to poor water quality at that time. Now, the good news is that we have vastly improved our water quality off Sydney a lot over the past few decades, but crayweed hasn't returned on its own and it hasn't returned here to Cabbage Tree Bay. We first planted crayweed here in April of 2019 and a few months later we started to see little tiny crayweed babies or crabies as we call them start to appear. First we saw about 50, then we saw 100 and now every time we visit we see more and more crabies popping up. Crayweed is quite an interesting type of seaweed because it has male and female individuals. If you pluck a blade of crayweed and hold it up to the light, you can actually see the vesicles containing that reproductive material. And depending on the shape of those vesicles, you can determine whether it's male or female. Crayweed is an important habitat forming species that forms underwater forests. You find that abalone and crayfish uh, like to live amongst the crayweed, which is actually how the crayweed got its name. Cabbage Tree Bay is a part of what scientists are now calling the Great Southern Reef. So when we think of reefs, we often think of tropical coral species, but seaweed forms reefs as well. And by bringing crayweed back into the bay, we are further enhancing this biodiversity by providing another type of habitat 